There are three main forms of multiplayer in Elder Ring. Cooperative, competitive and rescue. We will look at each one of them and answer the question how you can play Elder Ring with up to two friends. Even if you played all the Dark Souls, this video will be useful because there are some new things about the multiplayer in there, so let's go into it. For most players, getting started with multiplayer means inviting another player into their game to play alongside them cooperatively. You can invite a specific friend who is playing on the same platform or, if you prefer, you can invite a random person who has turned on their cooperative multiplayer mode. And something you might not know about at all, you can have up to two cooperative guests in your game at one time. For another player to join you cooperatively, you must both be in approximately the same area of the game, for example near the same site of Lost Grace, the player who wants to join you will need to use the tarnished furled finger to place a golden sign on the ground. At the same time, you should use a furled finger remedy. After a few moments, the golden sign should appear at the same location in your game. When the sign appears, walk up to it and interact with it to bring the other player into your game. Repeat the same process for a second player if needed. When hosting another player, you won't be able to use torrent to move around. Fast travel will be also blocked until a guest player has left your game. A guest player will remain in your game until certain conditions have been met. If you or your guest is killed, they will need to place another sign to return to your game. You can also remove guests from your game by using the finger sever item. Aside from that, this invitation or internet interruption, the other condition that will end a cooperative session, is the defeat of an enemy that is considered a boss or a mini boss. Usually, this type of enemy can be found beyond a fog barrier, but there are also some wandering bosses and mini bosses that can be encountered in the open world areas. Somewhere in the vicinity of those types of enemies, it's often possible to find a small stone crucifix. This markers indicates a summoning pool, a place where players can submit their signs with a small golden effigy for a cooperative play or a small red effigy for a competitive play. If you wish to invite a random player to assist you with a particle boss or a mini boss enemy, Use a furled finger remedy near one of those pools to see signs that are available to pick up. If you prefer to join another player's game as a cooperative guest, use the tarnished furled finger anywhere in the world, but the closer to the summoning pool, the higher chances is someone will use it. If you want to summon as soon as possible, place it closer to the difficult boss right in front of the fog barrier. If you want to play exclusively with your friends and not see signs from strangers or be invited to games by strangers, you can put a friend password into the settings and you will only see sites of received invitations from players who you are using the same exact password. When you are invited to another player's game as a cooperative guest, you'll appear as a golden spirit. In this state, you'll have access to your full inventory, but your number of flasks will be cut in half, rounded down. This means that if you have three crimson flasks in your own game as a guest, you will only have access to one crimson flask. If you have seven, you will have access to only three. As a guest, you will receive an important rewards for helping your host kill bosses, monsters and invaders. When you activate a cooperative multiplayer as a host or as a guest, you have a chance to run into cooperative visitors, also known as invaders. Invaders are randomly summoned to join the game of host with one explicit goal – kill the host. Invaders can only join games that have been opened to them in one way or another, typically by a host inviting a guest for cooperative play. 
You can indicate that you wish to invade by using a bloody finger or a small red effigy. Using a bloody finger or a small red effigy will automatically summon you to an eligible host game as soon as one is available. Just like a guest, invaders also have access to their inventory, but their flags will also be halved. If you want to try invade someone's game, there are a few things to keep in mind. As an invader, you will appear as a red spirit so the host and their guest will be able to identify you on site. There is a limit of 4 players in single multiplayer session. So if a host has already 2 guests when you invade, you could be fighting 3 opponents at once. Make sure you prepared for that kind of challenge before you attempt to invade a random game. Because of this possible 2 vs 1 or 3 vs 1 situation, invading can be quite difficult. However, you have some tools you can use to balance these scales a bit. For example, as an invader, you are immune to aggro from all monsters and bosses, you can join groups of attacking monsters to strengthen your position and help fend off the guest as you try to take down the host. You will also receive a phantom bloody finger that can be used 10 times inside a host's world. When used, the phantom bloody finger will quickly teleport you away from your current location and towards a location spawn point near the host. You can use this item in two ways. Either to get closer to the host if they have moved far away from you or quickly escape from a dangerous situation if your opponents are too aggressive. There are also situations where hosts can intentionally summon invaders. Hosts can use the Taunter Stone to open their world to invaders without needing to summon a cooperative partner, which could result in as many as 3 invaders in the worlds at once. Some people may use this item to host player fight cups, so, if you find yourself in a world where invaders are fighting each other, it might be a chance to test your dueling skills. If you discover that dueling is your passion, you can also use the duelist further finger to put down a red sign that the other's duelist can activate to summon you to the same location for a fight. If you don't feel like accompanying someone on all their adventures, but you also don't want to invade a host, you do have a third option. Players who wear the blue cipher ring can be summoned by hosts who wear the white cipher ring when they are invaded. When using this ring, you will appear in the host world as a blue spirit, known as a hunter. As a hunter, your goal is to destroy any invaders who have joined the host world. If the hunter and the host are successful at defeating the invader, you will be rewarded as a successful cooperative player would be, with runes and fur curling finger remedy and a rune arc. Some final notes, there are two other important tools that you can use to customize your Elder Ring multiplayer experience, passwords and group passwords. By including a password in your game settings, you will only see golden or red signs from other players who use this exactly same password in their own settings. The password is case sensitive, setting a password will not prevent you from being invaded by a random player when summoning cooperatively. Additionally, you can set a group password. A group password will prioritize bringing other players with the same group password into your world, both as cooperative guests and also as invaders. You can use a group password to have a greater chance of randomly invading your friends. Group password will also try to show you red and gold signs, bloodstains, spirits and messages from others with the same password and those interacting elements will have a special ring indicating that they are pulled from your group. If no one with your group password is available to be summoned, then the guests and invaders will be pulled from the summoning pool of all available players. 
You can have both password and group password at the same time. However, the password will take precedence when displaying summoning signs. And there you have it. This is a general overview of using the multiplayer system in Elden Ring, and I wish you many hours of enjoyment, collaboration, and, and excitement in the lands between. If you are a gamer and you are interested in playing other games than just Elden Ring, this channel is all about free games from Epic, where every single week Epic Game Store is giving us a free, at least one free game sometimes AAA, sometimes ED, Pixel ED game, but a free game for one week, once you claim it, it's yours forever. And we even make reviews of all these games if they are worth your time or not. So hopefully you stay tuned to this channel and I'll see you next time.